Howdy folks, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of potassium chromate. In order to do this, I've created a nice little table. Take a look. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see. So we got potassium, we got chromium, and we got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of potassium, there's a two, so that means we got two atoms. Chromium, there's only one. So we got a one. And oxygen, there's gonna be four. So we simply take those numbers and then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. The mass are found here on the table. All right. So potassium is 39.10, chromium is 52, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them on in. All right. So 39, 39.10, 52, and then 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on across. So that's going to be 78.20 for potassium, chromium 52.00, nice and easy. And then the, for oxygen, it's going to be 64, right? And then all we got to simply do to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're really interested in, we're going to simply just add those on together. And the total mass is going to be 194.20. And the units here are going to be in terms of AMU, or atomic mass units. And that's all there is to it. Thanks, guys, so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helps. Please like and subscribe if you can. It really does mean the world to us. Um, it allows us to keep producing content. we got thousands of videos out there. We want to produce even more for you. All right? Uh, check us out. We'll see you soon.